As you may know, there are seven different categories of plastic. Each plastic has different properties and principles. Today, we're talking about number three, or PVC, also known as polyvinyl chloride. PVC is one of the oldest plastics first synthesized in 1972. It is also the third most commonly used plastic right behind polypropylene and PET. PVC is naturally white and also very brittle. However, it does come in two forms. That's rigid and flexible. Rigid PVC is what you will most likely associate with construction. That's PVC piping, door frames, and window frames. The softer and more flexible PVC has a whole bunch of applications. And you will also find this a lot in the construction areas. They can be often found in plumbing supplies like piping, as well as electrical cable insulation. You will also find flexible PVC in things like flooring, signage, and imitation leathers. At last, you can find PVC in many inflatables. Here we have some PVC from an inflatable boat. As you can see, it's extremely strong, watertight, and can be used in all sorts of marine applications. As well, it is flexible, folds down, and when it's inflated, it's very rigid and strong. So for the pros, PVC is relatively cheap and accessible. It is also very dense and hard and resists impacts very well. Although it can be rigid, it also has a very high tensile strength. PVC is also very resistant to chemicals and alkalis. Now for the cons. PVC has very poor heat stability. Because of this reason, additives and stabilizers are added during the production phase to help it with those heat and temperature changes. PVC also emits very toxic fumes when it's melted or subject to fire. This is why it's a lot harder to recycle PVC when compared to other plastic counterparts like PET or HDPE. I hope this video gave you a little understanding on what PVC is and where it's used.